always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Yesterday at this town, we at this time we had clouds overhead. We still had some rain showers coming down too. Yesterday was just a dreary day, and today is better, at least in the sense that we're not seeing rain pouring down. We do have the clouds overhead, and we still have a few snow flurries too. Not everyone is seeing the snow at this point. It's generally lakeshore areas and the southwest corner of the state where snow continues to fall. Inland, for spots like Grand Rapids, those clouds are still stubborn overhead, but at least we're not dealing with the rain or the snow leading to any impacts. On Storm Track Live, you'll notice the southwest corner of the state is where we still have those bands of snow that are streaming in. Lakeshore area is still seeing a little bit of additional snow that's not showing up on this composite radar view. Uh, but for areas like Kalamazoo, Benton Harbor, South Haven, a few flurries still falling down. At this point, those are not expected to make any additional impacts. Rolling through our future cast for the rest of the day, you'll notice that this forecast model really clears us out quickly. I think it will be later today that we officially start to see those clouds breaking apart some more. And then tonight we're looking at partly cloudy conditions for most of West Michigan. Some sunshine to start off your Thursday morning, but as we head through the day, you'll notice that those clouds really start to thicken up, and that's ahead of our next storm system. So Thursday begins dry, but by the time we get to around the evening commute, we'll start to see some snow moving in. Looks like the snow will move in from the south to the north. It should just be starting for that evening commute. So at this point, it doesn't look like any major impacts, but snow will likely be falling, especially south of 96 becomes more widespread through the evening. And overnight, as we head into Friday, we are going to see fairly widespread snow. A lot of that will be moving out around the morning commute time frame on Friday, but it will still be on the ground, so that morning commute could be a bit slick. So for today, the snow will diminish. By the time we get to Thursday evening into Friday morning, we're looking at about one to three inches of snow. And then this weekend actually looks pretty quiet. Cool weather is in the forecast, but quiet weather is in the forecast too. Temperatures right now range from the upper teens to the low 20s. This is a big difference from yesterday, especially for areas south of 96. Those areas have fallen by about 20 to 30 degrees just over the past 24 hours. So that's a big difference as you step outside. On top of that, it's been a bit breezy today. Those wind speeds will keep falling down, not going completely calm, but it will be calmer through the afternoon. Temperature wise, mid to upper 20s for highs, and then tonight we'll slide back down into the mid teens. Although areas that see a bit more clearing could see temperatures that fall as far as the upper single digits. Going forward, notice each ever, uh, almost every day, our temperatures keep climbing up. So this weekend, we should be around 30 on Saturday, 32 on Sunday. And then next week, we have the potential to make it to 40. This outlook takes us out 8 to 14 days. And it does suggest that some parts of West Michigan could be a little bit warmer than average. A few more chances of snow in the eight-day forecast. That Friday morning commute could be slippery, dry this weekend. And then we'll keep warming up and stay quiet into next week.